welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you guys how to make the cutest 3d valentine's day cow paper squishy squishmallow i think this is one of the cutest squishmallows i have ever seen so i had to show you guys how to make it and it's just super festive for valentine's day so this is how it looks it's also super duper squishy and all of the details are just so cute even though it's a pretty simple squishy so yeah let's just get started into the tutorial the materials you'll need are paper, a pencil, scissors, clear tape, markers, and plastic bags. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is fold our piece of paper in half because we're going to be using both of the sides. So up next, I had to get the reference picture so we can know how it looks like. So I just typed in like Valentine's Day pink squishmallow cow and then I just clicked the one I was looking for. Okay guys, so here is the reference picture we're going to be looking at while we're sketching our Squishmallow. And you could kind of pick out your colors, like the shades of pink you will need, like a darker one on the bottom and then a lighter one on top. And like how you're going to do all of the little designs. So now that we've looked at the picture, let's go try to sketch it out. So we're going to just like do this potato-y shape kind of. I think of it as a little potato so we're gonna start sketching and I'm not gonna make mine too big or too small I'm gonna make it pretty medium sized so rounding out the edges once we have the basic shape of the body we're now gonna do the little details in the middle so this one has like a hot pink kind of spot right here so we're just gonna sketch that out and then this light pink spot on the top right of its head. Now we're going to draw the little snout. I don't know what it's called. It's like where it breathes. But it's going to be like this circular shape. Um, yeah, this is a little too big. Let's make it a little smaller. Now I'm going to do the eyes, which go about right here. And then he has two little hearts as its nostrils right here. They're pretty small, so I'm going to make them really cute. Now we're going to do the ears, which go out like this. And then kind of curve in. And then we're going to do its little line right here to make it like 3D-ish. And then we're going to repeat on the other side, trying to level it out. So it doesn't look like one's higher than the other. The only thing left are these little horns. I don't know what they're called, guys. If you know what they're called, comment down below. Because I think someone told me last time, but I forgot. So I'm just going to call them little horns for now. Oh my goodness, guys. Perfect. Now we just need to erase all of the pencil marks, but we still need like a little faint line where we can see the sketch. Then we'll go in with a black fine liner to outline everything and give it a cleaner finish. Okay guys, now it's time for coloring and this is going to be a short one because there are only three colors we're going to use. Guys, speaking of Squishmallows, I am currently obsessed. I literally love them so much. I wish I could go Squish hunting every day because it's so fun. I sleep with mine every night and they're just so cuddly. Comment down below if you like Squishmallows and if so, which ones do you like the best? I say my favorite would be the Bigfoots because they're just so cute i have benny and joelle and i also have zozo in a five inch but yeah guys i would say i'm a little obsessed just a little okay so we're just gonna color those in Okay guys, so before we laminate it, we're just going to do this really quick because this is pretty important. So basically, as you guys saw, we folded the piece of paper in the beginning. So now we're just going to turn it around and put it against a light source like a window or something. I'm putting it against like my window. Okay, so basically, and as you guys can tell, we can see the outline of the cow right here pretty perfectly. So what I do is I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to start tracing the the potato shape 
like this and all we're gonna trace is the potato shape of the body and the little patches on the squishmallow because that's all that's on the back we're not gonna need these because these are gonna be 2d and the face isn't gonna be on the back so again we're just gonna do the potato shape and the two little spots Okay guys, so now that we have the back all sketched out, as you guys can see the front and then the back, we're now just gonna repeat the basic steps we did in the beginning. So we're going to erase all of the pencil marks, take the black fine liner, outline it, and then just color in the two spots with the two shades of pink. Okay guys, so I totally forgot to mention that I did not notice the little horns were light pink, so here's just me coloring them in. Now that our squishmallow is all laminated, we're going to take our scissors and cut it out. And by the way guys, we're only going to be cutting the potato shaped squishmallow and leaving these little details behind because we're going to tape them on later. Okay guys, so now that we have cut out all of the pieces of our squishmallow, we're going to take another piece of paper and make the sides because this squishy is going to be 3D. So now I'm just taking a piece of paper and folding it to the width I want my paper squishy to be, so not too thick or too thin. Now I'm going to cut it out because it's going to be easier to handle if it's off of the rest of the sheet of paper. Okay guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to measure out the spots that match up to the pink spots on the cow. So I just put a little piece of tape here so the paper doesn't move. So as you guys can see in these clips, I'm just marking where the spots are so they can line up perfectly with the side. Once that's done, we're just going to take this little piece of paper off because that was just to mark it. So then I just take my colors and start coloring according to the marks I made in the previous clips. And then I just put a layer of tape to laminate and start attaching it to the front and back of the Squishmallow. And I also had to cut an extra piece. Okay guys, so now that we have our Squishmallow looking really cute with the sides, the tail, the everything, we have this little floppy side that we haven't taped on quite yet. So what I'm basically doing is just tearing apart these plastic bags and I'm going to crumble it and put it inside. Okay guys, so this is how the final Paper Squishy Valentine's Day cow turned out. I love it. Make sure to comment down below if you guys like it and if you tried this at home. If you make any videos of making this Paper Squishy Squishmallow Valentine's Day cow, make sure to tag me so I can see your video. And look guys, it's actually not that bad for plastic bags. And this could be a perfect Valentine's Day gift for any of your friends or family. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you guys tried to make this at home. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe down below by clicking the big red button underneath this video. Like the video if you enjoyed it and comment down below what other paper squishy tutorials I should make. Maybe any more blind bags or maybe some other Valentine's Day squishmallows. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Missing someone